Okay, so this time I'm actually going to walk you through um, ordering a Chipotle uh, on the app. So you don't got, because you can't go inside obviously right now. Uh, this one has an $8 tip on it. I am sitting at the Dairy Queen on Portage Trail uh, in Cuyahoga Falls. And this is obviously East Exchange Street. Uh, not very far away from me. Like I said, it has an $8 tip on it. So I'm taking this one. All right. Um, so if you don't have it yet, first thing you need to do is you need to download, um, yes, it's Harley Quinn in the background, just in case anybody was wondering, I probably not. And I did draw it. So anyway, um, so you go to the Play Store, all right? Obviously I had to reinstall everything because stupid yesterday. So Chipotle, all right? click on it mine's already installed it's got an update I'm not worried about the update right now I'll do that later but you would install it just like anything else and you would go in and you would just follow the prompts and set everything up I actually have it on here already and mine's already set up so you're gonna go in here you're gonna click pick up on the top there all right you can type in the address or you can just kind of zoom in and the one that's closest to me is going to probably be this should be Chapel Hill it's going to be this one here, University of Akron. So I'm going to zoom in on that one, click on it. There it is. Order from this restaurant down at the bottom. Wait till that goes away. Da, 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 da. And see, that was my last order that I actually did. Um, on the bottom, you see menu. So you're going to click on menu, pulls it up. Now you're going to have to toggle back and forth unless you're using two phones, which would be convenient. Uh, but I'm not, so I'm gonna go here. Name is Ian, spelled with an E for some reason. So what I'm gonna do, is since, since the app has my name on it, because it's my, my app, um, the order is going to come up when you go to ask for it. Just so you know, when you go to ask for it, it's gonna be under your name. Okay, I don't care if you change all the names on every menu item that you order, it's still gonna come up as your name on the ticket. So what you just do, I just tear that off, all right? But when I do it for these items, it asks you for a name. Who's this for? Because I like to personalize things, because whatever. Um, I just type in, I just take my name off and put their name on there. So that way, if there is something on the written on the thing, uh, on the, the, the lid or the, the foil, it says their name, not mine. So here's the order. Okay, it's two, three taco entrees and a burrito. All right. Uh, so we're going to start here. We're going to go back and forth, back to the Chipotle one. Okay. Back to this one. It's three tacos. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to do it right down the order. There's your tacos. Okay. It's automatically three, just so you know, unless you click the one next to it. So you can toggle over here to one and go back to the three because that's what he wants. So don't touch it if it says three, because you might accidentally only order one. So we're going to go back. Um, I'll blow it back up. I could have read it that way, but I'm going to bring it back up. So we can see here we got brown rice, soft flour tortilla, chicken, no beans, cheese, fresh tomato salsa. So the first item it's going to ask for is obviously the type of tortilla they want. And it says right there they want soft tortillas. So we're going to click soft tortilla. All right. And then just to make sure you do it right, I just go back and forth. They want chicken. That's the next item there. Scroll down. Next we got is what kind of rice they want and it says they want brown rice so we're going to put brown rice in all right back over here again and then soft tortilla chicken brown rice no beans and then i'm just going to read it out there cheese and fresh tomato salsa uh, if you get confused just jump back and forth okay it said no beans and then they want cheese and then we'll scroll back up here to fresh tomato salsa i'd like to do it in the order that it says on the thing either front first to last or last to first either way whatever works better for you um, so and then I go back and double just to double check okay soft flour tortilla all right chicken chicken brown rice brown rice now I'm doing it a little bit slower than I normally do not a lot slower but a little bit uh, and then no beans fresh tomato salsa 
right there and cheese and we know that's all of it right there so we're just going to scroll all the way down the bottom we don't have to you don't have to scroll all the way to the bottom i just like to because uh, it's right here already there and it doesn't move it says add to bag so click add to bag right here i'm going to change it to say ian click continue let the little spinny wheel go goes to the next screen okay don't touch anything in this complete your meal thing right underneath it where it says add another menu item that's what you want to click right there it goes back to the main menu so our next item is another three tacos and it looks like it's exactly the same brown rice brown rice soft flour soft flour chicken no beans uh, cheese fret is the exact same thing all right, so we're going to go back over here. We're going to click, scroll down and click on the tacos. Automatically chooses three. Soft flour, chicken, brown rice, no beans, fresh tomato salsa, and cheese. And, of course, double check. Always double check. Brown rice, soft flour, tortilla chicken, no beans, cheese, fresh tomato salsa. All right, there's my cheese, fresh tomato salsa, no beans, brown rice, and chicken. And we picked the soft for you. So, again, show you don't have to go to the bottom. Click add to bag. One more time, change the name to Ian. I know it seems kind of time consuming, but for a $16 order, that's five minutes down the street and a five minute down the street drop off from there. I'm, I'm taking a little bit to do it, okay? Because this way it'll be ready when I get there, all right? All right, we have one more item, so we're gonna click add another item and go back over. We have a burrito. So we're gonna go back, click on burrito, all right? And now these are usually written well, I guess it depends on how the customer puts it in because this is a little bit different. All right, the first thing they have is chips and guacamole. So we're going to go right down the list. So we're going to have to scroll down to the bottom, not quite the bottom here. They want chips and guacamole. So we're going to click on that there first. And then we'll go back up to the top. They want steak, steak, black beans, all right, cheese, and brown rice. Pretty simple. They're, sometimes they get more complicated than that. But this is a pretty simple order. So... I would have been done with this by now if I wasn't explaining it to you. So just so you know, it doesn't take this long. Maybe your first one or second one might, but after you get used to it, it doesn't, okay? So steak, black beans, cheese, and brown rice. It's easy to remember. Steak, brown rice, black beans, and cheese. And again, double check, okay? Um, it's a burrito. We know we're on the burrito screen because that's the only screen that we're given right now. Steak, black beans, brown rice. I'm reading it a little bit different order because I know that's the order that comes down. Steak, brown rice, black beans, cheese, and then he has the chips and guacamole. So we know that's right. Click add to bag. One more time. Change the name to Ian. Click that. And it'll do a little spinny thing. Go to the thing. Now we have everything there. And if you need more, I'll get, obviously scroll up a little bit because it keeps adding to the top click there we don't have to now the nice thing about this too is you get rewards every time you order it so i'm not sure if you're a chipotle fan or not but if you are you get rewards okay just like those wendy's receipts when you order them um when you order and pay like on doordash uh keep the receipts you get uh, like a free burger if you do if you do the quick little two minute survey all right, same thing with Taco Bell and McDonald's. You get free stuff if you keep those receipts. Uh, if you like to eat all the fast food stuff. I don't like to, but I do because unfortunately that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm stuck out here and I don't get up in time to eat. Anyway, we're going to go continue the payment. All right, don't worry about the pickup time because if you click it now, you got to click it again when you're done. All right, this MasterCard here, it obviously you can see is my Grubhub card. Uh, if you don't want to put it in there, all right, Google Pay right there. So if I use Google Pay, it's automatically going to charge my credit card. Um, so if you just want to do it a one-time payment, you just scroll over, as, as I did there. Click the one-time payment there, all right? And then you can type the card in. I do enough of these that I just put it in there to use it. Um, if you don't want to do one-time payment, you do want to add it. Just right there on top, you click Add Credit Card, put it in. So anyway, I already got the credit card information in, just like you would anything else. You're going to need, obviously, the credit card number, the expiration date, the name, which is the GH you know, number, and then flip on the back because you're going to need the CCV as well. Okay. So and then you hold the, where it says hold to submit, you hold to submit. It's going to give me a prompt because I didn't, hook, I didn't pick up a time. Looks like you missed something. Now you click that time there. 
okay? Um, so I could have done that first, I'm sorry. I'm used to putting it in. I put it in my card in there the last time. So, but yeah, click your pickup time, earliest, quickest pickup time, hold the submit, and you're done. Wait, that's weird. Probably because I took too long. <laughs> so let's try this again. I think it changed on me. Yeah, it changed from 5.15 to 5.30 when I did that. So we wait for the thing to stop doing its thing. Roger that. You'll get points for this purchase. So I get points. All right. And it's done. And then I'll get, there we go. And this, I don't want to save as a preference. So I go back. There you go. Pick up. Points are on your way. Pick up instructions. Blah, 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 blah. Orders confirmed. Now, all I do with this is I just, um, you're going to get an email confirmation because obviously mm -hmm. your email is going to be in there. All right. So I just screenshot the email. All right. And then I use that for my receipt. I choose from, when I click on add receipt, I choose, uh, uh, I click choose from library, <laughs> library, <laughs> library and then I just picked that last picture obviously is the uh, the screenshot I just took all right of the receipt and then I go on my way so that is how you do a Chipotle order all right have fun with that it'll take a lot less time than it took me right there because like I said I was explaining it to you so if you don't know now you know and I'm not gonna finish that line <laughs> I'll do it this way knowing is half the battle if you get that reference, you're old as fuck just like I am. Bye-bye.